Facebook from Jeff Bryan. What other profession outside of racing would you be doing if racing was not an option? Oh my goodness. Uh, I actually just got asked this question uh, not too long ago. But so, so I grew up in California. My, uh, my mom and my stepfather met working for a company that uh, she was a secretary and he, he was one of the fabricators where they, uh, they, 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 they built vehicles for handicapped individuals so they could drive. Maybe there were ramps where the, the, the uh, uh, wheelchairs could get up into a van or, or a vehicle or uh, they had hand controls, those types of things. And so that's how they met. And then they started their own business um, uh, manufacturing the, these products. And so I, my, my childhood was growing up in this facility, or this shop that we had in Vallejo, California, uh, machine shop, sweeping floors, uh, breaking a lot of things. Uh, I was the worst employee. Uh, they, they would hire me, you know, during the summers when I got a little bit older, and you know, running uh, the milling machines and, and the lathes and things like that. And it was always a job that I could do as a young kid. Uh, but I broke a lot of things. So and, and I think I cost them more than I made them. But it was. Uh, I, I guess my point is that had we not gotten into racing, uh, I think that that. That business either would have led to to you know something that I would have been involved with uh, in, in in that business, and and it might very well have played a big role in what I do today for my foundation in you know wanting to to give back to others because I saw how this uh, business that they had how it helped people be mobile and, and get around uh, that that otherwise couldn't without these types of hand controls. You mentioned your foundation. Talk a little bit about that and what it focuses on. Yeah, we focus on pediatric cancer, and that that came from Ray Everham. You know, his son uh, was diagnosed with leukemia right when this team was being built, uh, the 24 team, and and obviously that's pretty devastating news, especially uh, you know when when you're getting ready to start a big part of your your life and career in racing. And, and so that whole experience of, of what Ray uh, and his family went through uh, opened up my eyes to, to uh, leukemia and lymphoma. And so we started doing things for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, started a, a thing called uh, Racing for a Reason. And over the years, just through Make-A-Wish Foundation, visiting hospitals, meeting more and more kids and families dealing with pediatric cancer, I wanted to, to dedicate my foundation to doing more for it. Cool. All right, we got Billy over here.